Hi, I'm Katie Baboso with Channel Insider here at PacSafe Beyond 2024, and I'm joined by Bradley Kane of Kane Maverick Tech, CEO and co-founder. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So let's go right into the breaking news of the day, Bradley. Sure. First of all, you're coming all the way from Australia to be here and learn more about Pax8 and what they're doing for you as a business. And they opened their keynote today with talking about the changes to their marketplace and yeah. allowing for more customizable partner customer, that is, portals. Tell me what you thought of it when you heard that and how is that going to impact your business? We do a lot of sometimes co-managed services with our clients and sometimes those, those larger clients have internal IT teams and they want to sometimes self-procure. That self-procurement piece is going to be important. So being able to allow our clients to be able to go in there and actually do their own procurement and through us as a partner and through the Pax8 portal is, is a good piece of innovation. I think as our, our sales team elevates, they'll probably start to get look into those insights that it's going to provide around products or some ways that your clients might want to shift it's looking at the behaviors of the clients. Let's take a step back and talk about Kane Maverick Tech. Can you tell me who you are, how long you've been in the market, and how you've partnered with Pax8 to grow your business? We started our business in 2010. We're an MSP, which is a managed service provider, an MSSP. We're about 80 staff, pretty fast growing company, based out of Melbourne in Australia. What's Pax8 done for us? The platform's really good, the integrations are good, the billing automation's great, so it does save you time and money, and the complex billing around Microsoft, those sorts of things, makes it a lot easier to be able to bill our clients. That's a no-brainer, and um, that's why we, we started with Pax. The other thing that they, they do for us, and they, they continue to do for us is it's our speed to market. Um, they make it easy around what's the commercial construct for a product and, and can, can we procure it quickly? They don't try and lock you in like a lot of vendors do nowadays to three-year agreements. They're happy to go month to month and, give, and still give you great pricing. So it's given a speed to market, great commercial outcomes and you know, obviously being here uh, you know, building more relationships. It's, it's actually, they, do, they really do care. Um, so there's, there's that part as well. So I think they're the main things that speed to market. It's, it's helped us um, be more profitable because the commercial construct they've given us. And you obviously billing automation sort of helps save us money. So that's sort of where we are at the moment. Tell me, are you implementing AI into your business or helping your customers implement it into theirs? And how is Pax8 supporting you in doing that? I mean, on Microsoft Copilot's the flavor of the month, maybe the, the year, we'll see how it, how it all goes. Uh, it's what's relevant to us. You know, our clients run in a modern workplace like the Microsoft stack. So, you know, Copilot's kind of that enhancer for that stack. That's how I sort of refer to it. We've got a unique way of going out and talking to our clients about Copilot. What, what Pax have done actually is an incentive around We've been funding the first license for our clients and what PAX have done is given us a way to compensate us for paying for that license. And where do you see your relationship with PAX8 going through the rest of this year and into next year because we're two quarters in? Yeah, it's an interesting question. I literally had an um, a executive catch up just before this and, um, and I sat down with them and said, hey, I'm really glad I came. I'm doubling down uh, on this partnership because I can see where they're going. We spend a lot of money with lots of vendors and distributors. And so yeah, we, we are, I've got a plan to start moving more of our revenue to PAX because I can see they're going to bring us more value.